Hey, hey guys. guys, my name is Gwen and I'm Evan and we're gonna talk about multiple intelligence and also the computer-based national exam. So first we're gonna talk about Howard Garner's multiple intelligence. So what is a multiple intelligence? Multiple intelligences is a theory where it differentiates intelligence into specific modalities rather than seeing intelligence as dominated by a single general ability. The founder of this theory is Howard Earl Gardner. He is an American developmental psychologist and graduated from Harvard University. Multiple intelligences divided into eight which is visual, linguistic, or verbal, logical, kinesthetic, intrapersonal, interpersonal, musical, naturalistic. So that was about multiple intelligence. Now we're going to see the test results. So this is the pie chart results of multiple intelligences in our class. So the most common one is musical at 32% of the population, logical at 21%, Verbal at 16, interpersonal at 11, kinesthetic at 10, intrapersonal at 5, visual at 5, and lastly, naturalistic at 0%. So this is the, re the pie chart result of the whole 9th grade multiple intelligence. Uh, the most common one is musical with 29% of the population, and then followed by logical with 80% of the population, and then kinesthetic, and then interpersonal, intrapersonal, verbal, naturalistic, and at last, visual. So that's the test result, and now we're gonna see our interview that we did with our friends that happens to have the visual intelligence. Uh, good afternoon, Victoria. Uh, today I want to interview some things about you. Yeah. yeah. For the first uh, question, can you draw similar of uh, things around you? No. Uh, why can't you do it? Because I like skill and could, could picturize everything. Um, what do you think? Uh, what skills would you like about? What? Like, what skills do you like on? Um, I think I like the details. I cannot draw too much detail, but like that. Oh, so that's it. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you some few questions. Do you do a lot of note on, note on notebooks? No. Why? Because I can't draw well. So what do you want to work for? So I want to do some magic. Okay, thanks for your time. Moving on, we're going to talk about the computer-based national exam. So this is the history of the national exam. The national exam is first executed in 1950 and called Ujian Penghabisan. Its goal is to increase the quality of students' education and also test students who had improved on it. This goes until 1965. The next year, until 1971, the national exam is called Ujian Negara and is executed by the government. 1972 until 1979 is where the national exam is executed by the school themselves with the time available to them and also the subject with their own standards. The next year, 1980 until 2001 is the time when the national exam is called Evaluasi Belajar Tahap Akhir. 2002 until 2004. 
This time, the national exam is called Ujian Akhir Nasional. 2005 until 2014. In this period, the name of the national exam changed again to Ujian Nasional. And lastly, 2015 is the time where the computer-based national exam is first executed and uses computer instead of paper sheets. And it continues until now. And that's all about the computer-based national exam. And now we're gonna see some interviews that we did with our seniors about the national exam. Yes. Uh, I would like to interview you some questions. Uh, for the first one, do you think the national exam is important? Uh, no. Oh. Oh, why do you think so? Uh, because I think in the national exam stress the student. Okay, what program would you like to replace the national exam? I think a normal final exam would be enough. Okay, thanks for your time. Hey Edwin, hey everyone. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Do you think the computer-based national exam is better than paper? Yes. Can you apply your written? Yes, because it's easier to use in the computer than you have to in the form. Do you think you will do better in computer or paper math? You know, exam? Why? Yes, because it's easier to study again. Hey Billy, hi. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Yes. Do you have difficulty in doing the computer based Of course, yes. What are the difficulties? I'm bad at mathematics and I'm bad at accounting. What do you think so? Because I handle it like this. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. So that was all. Now we're going to show you 10 study tips for facial learners. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching and, and we'll see you, see you next time. time.